Alright lads, welcome to one of the most pivotal moments in English history. This is 1066 and England is being invaded by both Harold Hadrada and William of Normandy. Uh, there's obviously historically, William the Bastard, uh, then William the Conqueror would take over England. And today we're going to try and do the same thing by securing ourselves a union with England before the Norwegians do it, and then hopefully try and rebuff the Norwegians. Now, uh, one thing you've got to note is that they have more troops than we do. They also have more boats than we do. And we don't really have anywhere useful to land. So this is going to be really quite difficult. We don't get any sort of special soldiers. We don't get anything like that. All we get is 5% from morale of armies. All we get is an extra 5% from build to force limit. Get a general with 100 tradition. And he's actually not that good. Neither is William of Normandy. <laughs> oh dear. We're going to do a ruler policy to inspire the soldiers. And that's everything we've got. And we're going to take a debt to the burghers immediately because we need to somehow make up this difference. So England has 25,000 troops and we have 12,000. They have double our army and a larger navy. I don't know how we're going to go ahead and do this. Securing an alliance with the Scottish. And could I call them in? Okay, let me grab military access with them at the very least. Okay, how many troops do we have? Six. What's a free company saying? 4k. Okay, that makes up some difference. Can't call you to arms, can I? England is successfully defending its coast. <laughs> That's terrifying. Right, we're asking for military access. And we're going to see if we can land our troops on Scottish soil. In fact, what a better move is, is probably this. Access here. And put them in Northern Ireland. And then we can maintain some sort of naval pre presence to make sure they can't come and take us out. I think that was a very good move. Indeed. Because 25,000 troops are there. See, this counts as disputed. So I can fight that 11k. And I think I need to do that now. Take on the English Navy. That's only 13 cogs, though. We can beat that. Go, go, go. This is our chance. This is our chance. I need fleet basing rights. I can't risk this being this close. Come on, lock in. Lock in. Go, blockade. I'm going to help the Norwegians out. Blockade the English here. And attack. Now, theoretically, we might have been able to lock it down here. I don't want to fight that, that army at all. Okay, we don't need fleet basing rights anymore. I don't really want to pay him that much. We've got a disciplined guy should we really need him. This guy's got two siege. Got a stack wipe, but we'll take it. How many ships do the English have? Okay, the English are going to stay there. That's fine. Okay, they'd have to fight the Norwegians. I'm going to drop off a cog. One cog to hold the straight. And then fight that navy there. And just pray we win. God, this nail bat's gone on a while. Okay, we didn't secure much. They almost got through. Okay. I think the Norwegians just sort of let it go there for a sec. Bear in mind, we have to fight the Norwegians after this. So it might be an idea for us to pick up some galleys. Some actual fighting ships. Just to secure our coastline. And just like that, the military axis from Scotland really paying dividends. Alright, we've won that siege. Let's head down to London. I do appreciate that it's done in the old style. It's really cool. Okay, theoretically we should win this. We have a two siege general. He has a zero siege general. We're blockading. He's not blockading. All right. In the meantime, let's see if we can drop some extra war score here. We might actually pull this off. I won't lie. I looked at this save and I was like, okay, it'll be funny for the video, but I don't think this is possible for me. Yeah, predictably, the AI gets breached walls. Do we hold on? I think we hold on. 1%. 35. All right, there's London. All right, pile in, boys. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're good. Oh. Okay, I'm going to send my ships up there, around here. I'm going to be spending a lot on fleet maintenance. Yeah, like three ducats, but it's worth it. All right. We have 97%, so we can get the Union and some money for our troubles. There we go. And now we fight the Norwegian. And we they're going to have 100% liberty desire, which makes sense given the relative difference in our sizes. Now, how many troops do they have? They have 14,000. Because after this, lads, we kind of have to fight the French. And they, they, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, they're kind of big. Vassal of France. Mm. How do we do this? Do we pursue a similar thing with um, access with Denmark? Might be an idea. It wouldn't give us military access. If we allied to them, they probably would. If we land troops, they're going to get stomped. Right, we're going to try and go after Sweden then. Why are you going that way? Just land directly on it. What are you doing? What was that? Bear in mind, this is a mountain. Oh, it's not good. Okay. I thought it was mountains. It's not. It's forest. Where are you going? Romsdale. 
What's your navy like? Non-existent. Bear in mind as well, we need this to come down to zero. Uh, before our guy who is 52 dies. Also, he definitely had kids. <laughs> so I don't know what this is about where uh, I don't have an heir. I, I recall uh, the William the Conqueror having heirs. <laughs> Where's Robert Kerhouse, you know? I'm going to introduce a new heir immediately. Now, I can't do anything else apart from war operations. This is why I wanted it. War operations and money. Because I can't reach there. If I transfer this over to England, could they take it? They could. I've got to do this before they win that siege. Because we have the war score. I want the provinces. 4-3-2. I'll take a 4-3-2 weak line. Alright. I have a choice. Either I call him William Rufus after, like, the guy who became King of England. Or I call him after, the name after Robert Curthose. There's another one of his sons. Or the guy who would actually rule England. Henry Beauclerk. Henry the First. I want to do that. And I'm going uh, to make it English. There is, uh, one thing. Okay. Ooh, Iceland. Uh, can't actually... I thought that was part of Norway. It's not. It's its own thing. There is one thing. One tiny little thing. Which is... William Normandy is 53. That doesn't make sense. Because <laughs> he was born in, like, 35? And he died at 57. So, I don't know why he's 53. <laughs> But to be fair, I am nitpicking a mod that goes from the year 2 to, you know, the modern day. So I can't really say too much. And it's over to the English. Excellent. Right. And you instantly dislike me. Cool. I gave you land. Alright, let's get the boys back. Let's get rid of this free company. Alright, and with that, we can grant this stuff over to England. Take the money, take war operations. Not transfer trade power. No? Well, I don't think waiting in this war is too good of an idea. So we are just going to peace out. All right, excellent. And that pays off our loans. Let's get the boys home. And England instantly dislikes me. That's fun. Norway announces their new rival. That makes a lot of sense, given it's Harald Hadrada. We can hold a grand tournament. Cool. I'm not going to do that, though, because we're poor. Right. That's a lot of potential rivals. Uh, I can't rival the French, which... Mm, I don't like. Okay, who can we rival? Someone close by. Brittany. We can rival... I want to do it somewhat historically. I mean, the Danes is not a bad shout, but at this point, Denmark and Scandinavia and that sort of stuff kind of petering out. The end of the Viking Age was sort of solidified with the defeat of Harald Hadrada. But still, maybe I do that and Provence, maybe? Okay, I'll do Flanders. Can't rival Flanders? Oh, I can. Excellent. So a lot of people used to go to Bruges. <laughs> um, if you were upset with the English or you're in exile with the English uh, nobility, you go to Bruges. That was just the, the done thing. And historically, there were a lot of incursions into that into that region to try and root out people it's great really honestly great period of english history this i i studied it quite a bit so forgive me nerding out a little bit boys but to be fair several of you did say you'd watch a channel that's just history with lathe and maybe this is just history with lathe but with even more gameplay in the background <laughs> all right we can repay our loans yep i'll do that now and let's get rid of the free company all right, and how much are we over? We're over by 10 ships, so probably get rid of these 10 light ships, to be honest. We'll leave three, get rid of these 10, and we're making money again. Now we collect in Bordeaux, which is not our home trade node, so that's stupid. Let's collect in the English Channel instead. And England likes us. All right, we are somewhat secure. Now let's do what all good kings do and attack the Bretons, because this ain't coming down anytime soon. So what happened historically was uh, the... I hope I'm getting this right, uh, but as far as I'm aware, what happened historically was uh, William the Conqueror then tells all of the uh, English nobles uh, that they now hold their land from him. Which means that in terms of the feudalism system, which should be rocking around now. Manuscripts, where's feudalism? The idea is that they all owed him fealty because all everyone's land was forfeit because they'd risen up against his rightful rule, which was sanctioned by the Pope. Meaning that he could then put all of his mates in charge and you see an influx of Normans and Frenchmen uh, into England. Which is why posh foods and posh words in the English language are typically stemming from the French, whereas the Anglo-Saxon side of things is lower class. All right, let's go into Wales at the same time. England, I'd love for you to get some claims around the place. I wonder how this game handles the anarchy. Okay, I, I need to stop with, like, niche historical things. The Anarchy was just a period of civil war um, in England where, like, there was no real... It happened in about two generations, about in about 100 years or so. Um, 
Yeah, and everyone was just going a bit mental. Like there was no real centralized power up until Henry II, who is one of my favorite kings of all time. All right, back to focusing on the game. I think we need to fight you. Calling the Scots. We've got a fleet. Hopefully they'll bring him over. And we'll attempt to attack the uh, Bretons. Let's see what we can secure here. We do have a mission tree that's based around just Normandy. So if I can take Paris, we get permanent claims on the entirety of France. And then if France doesn't exist, we just become France. And that's something from building any other troops. Also, another thing that William the Conqueror did was he uh, uh, he ravaged the North because they rose up against him. Uh, and so he burnt the North. Uh, it spent His army spent two years, as far as I'm aware, two years rampaging there. Uh, the effects of which can still be felt today in terms of uh, economic development split between the country. There's multiple other factors as well. But the population just got decimated. It was ridiculous how many people died. Governing capacity increased by 50. How does that help us? It does not. <laughs> so there's a 0% chance of us inheriting. You know, I'd wish we a lot higher one of that. Oh, and France has integrated uh, Aquitaine. Something that they would not do for several years. Right, we're going to see if we can land on Tier Connell down here. He has got a lot of ships. Don't need military access here anymore. Oh, silly me to have kept it. Uh, we will need an admiral though. God. French are going a bit mental, which is kind of terrifying. <laughs> Can't take him as a vassal, unfortunately. I'd love to form England, but England needs to not exist, so I need to integrate them. I was just looking at that screen wondering when he was going to die, and there it is. He's dead. The bastard is dead. We've got a decent regent as well. Right. I think suing for peace here would be wonderful. Just a white peace against Provincial, so I can get started. But I will take you as an... I, you won't accept? I need a foothold. Also, do not want these light ships. <laughs> Don't give them to me. Uh, actually, no, I do want those light ships. Wait, are you allowed to raid coast? Because that was kind of, you know, your thing. <laughs> you did that quite a bit. All right, the Provencals will peace out, giving us 100%. So, Tier Gonal, I need a vassal. And a foothold in Ireland. And the rest of this stuff, I want to take directly. Excellent. Another rival. Toledo's not going to help me. Um, Iberia seems a bit rough. Again, in keeping historically accurate, the French would be the number one pick here. But we'll go ahead and go for the Scottish, even though they're my only allies. A big problem that the uh, Norman kings faced was one of logistics, because if you stay in England too long, then guys in Normandy, because obviously we're not, we're not at the Treaty of Westphalia stage yet, so there aren't really nation states, that's not a thing, it's just you personally hold land. Uh, so people would rise up, and then if you leave England for too long, a similar thing's going to happen, and your crown jewel. Uh, and at this point, it was actually kind of the jewel of Western Europe. Um, not for any reason, specific reason, like, oh, they had great industry, or they had good this, or they had good the other. It was just because our tax codes were really, really good. It was very, very efficiently taxed uh, populace because we had the exchequer. Uh, so you could tell um, who owed you, owed the government what? Well, I said the government, the king. What? And so, yeah, that's why it was such a wealthy thing to have. And the exchequer is something that continues to this day. <laughs> 13,000 Breton separatists. Are you kidding me? There's almost as many men as we have. All right, well, England's gotten claims over here. We are now at minus three stability. Wonderful. I kind of want to wait the eight years until Henry comes of age. We might have a really early reformation here. <laughs> also, lads, in the comments down below, let me know what you think of my little historical uh, <laughs> additions. Let me know if you want, you're like, ah, this is the worst thing ever. I just want to focus on playing the game. Or you're like, ah, actually, I kind of like 50-50 the game and 50-50 like me rambling about historical things that happened. Because again, this was my bread and butter. This time period, um, from now until sort of King John time, so the next 200 years, that's when like I intensely studied uh, English history. And then I also did the rise of Islam and also basically the rise of, uh, of, of Charlemagne and what preceded him. So um, Austrasia and Neustria and that sort of stuff. So I just generally quite like playing through periods of history that I know quite well. You know, guys like Charles the Hammer Martel. <laughs> I would, I'm not going to tell you who he is if you don't know. I would highly recommend Googling him. All right, we'll go after the Lotharingians. I mean, I'm no, oh God, he's allied to Castile as well. I know I'm outnumbered like really, really badly, but part of me feels like I could win this. I mean, sure, I'll only have like, what, 15,000 troops. I could probably push up to 20K and then I'm outnumbered, what? Four, three, four to one, three and a half to one. But I don't know, I have to like do that. To be honest, I think I'm going to start putting in some cavalry. 
because I can afford it. I'm making a lot of money off the trade and taxation and such. Franconia is in your emperor. England is actually slowly ticking down. This is annoying me because I can't... I like can enact the government reform, but I, I can't. I'm going to build two more units of cavalry and then shut down my army maintenance. Austria. 48 years of age. Likes me. I could try and get involved in that. Why not? I'll give it a go. I'm going to deviate slightly from the historical norm. Oh, we're not. As he just got a, a <laughs> kid immediately. Don't need this castle. I have spotted an opportunity here. And that's to fight you, Calais. So let's do that. We've got two star admiral. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, you should not have left your lands. Like, they won't help me, but if you leave your lands, they will murder you. All right, we have double as cavalry. We have seven divisions of cavalry. All right. This should be fun. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, in fact, we need to do ruler policy to inspire the country. Where is it? Inspire the soldiers. I can't. Ah, oh, it's a regency. Damn it. Okay, we are crossing a river into woods. I don't really want to do that. All right. Our manpower is not infinite. But I've blitzed them twice now. We should be able to nip in. No one seems to be building galleys apart from me. <laughs> Fortunately, he'll go and defend his own land and he'll go and desiege things, which is kind of all I need him to do right now. Yeah, we'll take the hit in, in, in Brittany just to secure this stuff over here. Mm, we are outnumbered quite a bit. Doesn't look like it in terms of the numbers, but obviously you've got to remember it's counting England's numbers, and I do not control England. They've made that abundantly clear to me. Right, I'm going to let him burn himself out a little bit on those sieges. Let's go ahead and take back our lands. Oh, aren't you using this wall like... What just happened? What just happened? We have no manpower. We're fighting the French. When did the French get involved? Why did the French get involved? How did the French get involved? So many questions, most of whom involve the French. You've got to win that. Okay. All right, we need this guy to be... Oh, we're so screwed. It's ridiculous. All right, where do we run to? Run to Co. Why the French here? I've got nowhere to run to. It's a bunch of cavalry dead. Okay, I can hide in here for a little bit. Oh my god, this war became uh, untenable. When did, did they enforce peace? I just didn't see. Okay, let's chuck defensiveness on this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And we're going to have to wait for this guy to come of age. There's nothing else for it. Okay, hopefully we'll go to Leal. Okay, good. And let's just get our manpower back. But we are outnumbered so significantly, it's kind of dumb. When do you come of age? Hurry up. On the 20th of April. We've got to hold out until the 20th of April. I need you on the throne now, kiddo. 20th of April. All right, immediately. Rule policy to inspire the soldiers. Wait a month to get the morale back. Fight the French here. I hope he doesn't come in because he's got a siege. Oh, thank you, Castile. Similar thing here. Okay, good. We brought him off the siege. That's all we needed for now. Okay, when can we retreat? Pull out. He's got 36,000 men. What's happened here then? Byzantine conquest of Lusania. Oh my god, the Byzantines fighting the French. <laughs> I may be the luckiest man alive, boys. Alright, slackened a little bit. Move out. Looked like he was going to come in there. Right, I don't want to go bankrupt, so I'm going to move out here. Scorch the earth behind me. Wait for him to lock in, and then fight him there. Just got to... Do what little tactics I can do to try and convince them to fight me. Lost the siege of Lille, that's fine. We're in for the long haul, boys. Go, 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 go. Okay. They were almost going to fight me. All right, let's attack them in here. And let's scorch the earth. All right, it's already as desolate as can be. I'm going to try and take Picardy. Oh, that's painful. Crop ourselves indebted to the burgers. Damn, we've got Blaze de Brion on. Who's going to try and come in and win the siege for us? All right. Nice little naval battle there. Okay, I'm going to have to fight that. Nice stack wipe. And scorch the earth behind us so we can... I don't know if I scorch the earth. Okay, he didn't go for it. Make sure this all is scorched. So it takes him so long to get in. Now we see. All right, boys. Time to pray. Oh. Let's hold on for that. That's risky. All right, we're going to have to go in. When's this next thing? 36 days left. Right now, we're just going to go in. Okay, that's good. That'll do. No, oh, the French are pieced out with the Byzantines. <laughs> My one hope. Right, in order to not go bankrupt... No, look, it's not happening. In order to not go bankrupt, I need to spread out my men. Because remember, all this stuff is scorched. Okay, stacking that massively. What's the combat width? 16. Yeah, we'll be fine if we take that. Okay, that gives us a bit more access to money. 
I think we can take, with our three C general, I think we can take Paris fast and they can take whatever they're doing. But we have to go through Valois. So we have to win one more battle. Just gonna quickly bump up our stability. And that'll crush my game. I always forget that. <laughs> right, let's load her up again. You know I'm desperate because I'm actually loading in without my graphical mods to see if there's a buff uh, that I can get in terms of an age bonus that will help me win this war because I am terrified. Look, full score costs, other religions, manpower recovery speed. Honestly, that's probably the best thing we can get right now. Recovery compatibility only. Yeah, we're going to go for this. All right, so after that debacle, maybe I didn't increase my stuff. All right. Bump it up by four. I need this to not be a thing anymore. Is that scorched? If it's scorched, I'll go for him. It is scorched. All right, let's do it. Oh my god. All right, we blitz for Paris. Hold in Paris, boys. Who wants a white piece? No, 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 no. <laughs> not today. Not when I'm this close. Keep sending white pieces all you want. I'm not accepting them. All right, there's the Siege of Paris. Oh, for, I've got to go through there. Why? Why? Okay. All right. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna retreat to Jersey. Not sure why only some of my troops went in on there. That was terrifying. Okay, some of these guys I can white piece. Like Utrecht, I don't want anything to do with. Utrecht, the Isles. That's Gwened and Moor. France would leave for just Picardy. How much am I in debt? Enough to warrant me staying in this war. 524 is an air. I will take that. Nice little stack wipe there. Tired mercenaries. More mercenaries. All right, stack wipe to you. I need to go stack wipe the free company. Murder this lot. And then we milk as much war score as possible. Yes, fight my rebels, France. Dance, monkey, dance. All right, France, on Picardy, because it gives me access to your capital, and I want your money, and you can go on your way. And now, time for the end boss. Span Normandy. Dude, if I could capture Paris, I'd have claims everywhere. Pay off almost all of my loans. All right, I am going to drop some troops onto his capital. Begin that process. Apparently, it was unnecessary, because... We've already done it. Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of these troops now. We're making money. Too big of a coalition, but that is just the right amount. 230 ducats, a bunch of land, and sweet, sweet victory, boys. Let's pay off our loans. We're debt free, but there are a lot fewer men in our nation. Can we rival the French yet? No, we can't. All right, screw it, the Norwegians it is. There's the coalition. France has warned us. What do we do? You mean to kick your ass again, huh? Is that it? Because, I mean, I can. Alright, Saxony is an ally. That sounds pretty good to me. Don't kill my air. Okay. <sighs> Game, don't don't play with me like that. Now, I would delete some forts, but honestly, they saved us. And <laughs> we are alive because of the forts. We only have 18% control? England has the majority, of course. So the main way you get manpower in this mod is literally, you do this, you get a new guy, you get rid of him, you get another one. And each time gives you one professionalism, right? So, you don't really need that many powers for anything else, really, because the techs are so far apart that you can just sort of spam out men. If you remember my uh, West Rome series or the uh, Rise of Islam series, and yeah, you know, that's exactly how I got my, my, my men. Also, realistically, if I had uh, actually done that in back in, you know, what, the 11th century, all of England would have risen up and broken free. <laughs> There's no two ways about that. Hey, fight the Byzantines again. That was fun. <laughs> the only reason I'm alive is because of that. Grab ourselves some national tax modifier from the Pope. Denmark, 58, five years of age, huh? Eh? No from the House Hadrada, see, succeeds to the throne. And if I can help it. <laughs> Tarold, yeah, he's still alive. Look at that, he's still alive and kicking. He's 65. Ladies and gentlemen, there seems to be two Sicilies. There's uh, Sicily and then there's Sicily. This one from uh, Roger the First of Odville. Roger the Second being one of my favorite kings of all time as well. But then later on, conquer Sicily properly. If you don't know uh, about what Roger the second of Sicily did, uh, he simultaneously fought the Byzantines and the Holy Roman Emperor at the same time, because he's a badass. <laughs> he also had like, it was an incredible place of learning, so like, it weirdly, it was a weirdly, weirdly tolerant place. Obviously for the time period, so you had like Jews, Arabs, Christians, uh, Orthodox Greeks, everyone, and uh, it's created some amazing architecture today, I'd love to go and visit at some point. 
Oh, it's a history vlog channel. That's what I need to start making. Go around visiting like really cool historical. I'm actually gonna do that. I think that's that's insane. That's such a good idea. I'd love that. Well, if that's what something you want to see, boys, put in the comments down below. Maybe I'll start up a a history uh, travel channel thing. Go go around seeing historical monuments, starting with the Alminster. Norway is no longer a valid rival. France. Yes, we can rival the French finally. Right, I do want to consolidate my holds in British Isles. Right, let's go ahead and royal marry the Danes. So we can sneak in our king. Yeah, the Normandy is what we want to see. And let's go ahead and murder you. I'd be very surprised if Leonie's troops actually turn up in our lands. I'd, well, I'd, surprise, I'd be very upset as well, to be honest. Oh, they're getting taken out by who? Toledo. Toledo Sultanate is. I want to know what the British memo looks like. It's something like this. There's some Slavic guys up here. Maybe I should do a series where I like, bring back the Slavs. That could be fun. Ooh, recreating Charlemagne's conquest. That could be a good one. So much what to do. <laughs> People ask me sometimes, they're like, okay, Leith, how do you do daily uploads? You know, how, how is that possible? Well, firstly, <laughs> I'm very upset because what I said, I didn't want to happen, happened. But no, they say like, you know, how, 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 how do you do that? How do you not get burnt out? It's because I have so many really cool ideas I want to do and I'm always get excited to do them. So if you're excited to do something, it's never going to, you're never going to get burnt out doing it. Is the key part. So if I, I don't know. I think if I did the same thing over and over again, if I just sort of opened up E4, it's why I typically don't do series, right? Um, apart from my Byzantine one that I started, because again, I like the idea of having like a, a solid aim there. But if I was to be playing the same game over and over again, trying to do the same things, I think I get really bored, and then I get burnt out. So the reason I'm able to do daily uploads is because I take something that I find interesting, like oh, I want to recreate Charlemagne's um, empire, or I want to do this really weird thing in E4, and then I'll just do it <laughs> and just sort of yeah just didn't enjoy playing the video game which is the key thing oh well leon is dead <laughs> hopefully i can win that if i can't then i'm about to have a lot of troops stack wiped ow ow okay we're good i can't take like oh i can take it that's important uh i don't really care about the owls right now I care that i can take you i do not want a castle there probably should have kept the castle now that i think about it <laughs> i've got to take more than two seconds to make a decision later come on are you rival to France? You're not. Oh, you are. Interesting. Okay. Well, our truce is up with France. They've somehow gotten more allies. <laughs> Ow. England, how do you have claims everywhere? <laughs> how have you managed that? I'm not complaining. How can I fight you again then? Holland. Holland seems to be a good shout. In the coalition against me. But just allied to France and Lotharingia. Okay, I could probably fight that. Oh. <laughs> Plans need to be put on hold for a little while. Alright, let's go ahead and murder you. And let's not get caught out here. I don't even have manufacturers. How am I supposed to get scholastic? Schol something or other. Manuscripts. And then I need scholar. Whatever. Institutions are for nerds. <laughs> the Normans aren't nerds. They're really good at fighting. I'm just going to march in and take you as well. I wonder how much um, Norse influence there was in Dublin at this point. Right, that's the Irish wiped out, armies-wise. To start getting some troops back to deal with this Picardy revolt. You hold on, don't you dare lose. Dizzy's outbreak, go, 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 go. I could probably win that with you in charge. It's gonna be painful, but might as well. There we go. And then we'll just teleport him back over here. It is weird that there aren't like wait times. I would be very annoyed about wait times. Is it like waiting for one leader to go from, uh, one place to the next. I'd be very upset about it, but it would make sense. I'm just going to go ahead and conquer this place. And we'll get rid of this fort. We'll keep the one in the Midlands. We'll probably need to settle down for a little while because we are dying from manpower-based issues. And there we go. Let's go us rage first. Make sure we're picking up those ducats. Not that we need them, to be honest, but let's make sure we are. Don't need you as a fort. Don't need you as a fort. That is a smart move to join the coalition against me. <laughs> I will not lie to you. <laughs> I had every intention of attacking you. Here's the thing. Scotland uh, hasn't. I don't know why. They probably should. Oh. <laughs> I swear the game has better comedic timing than I could ever hope to achieve. Why are the Byzantines over here? What are you doing? What's all, what's all this then? Corinthia, which means you are at war with a lot of other places. What's the rest of the world looking like? Got Kumania still doing their thing. Create Seljuks. All right, I think they beat the Fatimids in a war. No, I think it's, it's nope. That's still the same since the start. Interesting. 
The Christians haven't done such a good job with the whole uh, Reconquista thing. Oh! Well, hello there! <laughs> you seem to be our second parcel union. <laughs> That's a bit of an empire for me here. This is quite nice. He's trying to offer me an alliance as well. Oh, and Kildare has become Scottish. They're more Scottish than the actual Scots are. Oh. My. God. Uh, that's, that's quite a, it's quite a few troops, Chief. Uh, who can I rival? Just looking at Morocco, I really wanted to make a video on the fact that King John almost became a vassal of the Moroccans. England was almost a Moroccan, a Moroccan vassal state in 1215, around that time. All right, England, you gonna help me out here, bud? Because it's, like, it's gonna be bad if you don't. Okay, you did. Good. All right, England, you gotta help me out here, bud. Okay, for a second there, I thought you wouldn't, and that would be very upsetting. We're gonna finish him off, England. We're gonna finish him off, buddy. Okay, that England. I don't want to do this. I don't want to play this game. Oh my god. Okay, right. On the thirtieth, right? So they don't get a month thick. Okay, good. Because that could have been bad, and England was very content to not do anything there. I think that's made the Danes. Yep, that made the Danes uh, disloyal. To be fair, they've got. Well, no, I thought they only had three thousand. They've got thirteen thousand there, so sixteen thousand. If we can make you both loyal, it's a decent shot here. Right. Well, let's get ourselves some manpower. They get good generals as well. Slacking, slacking, slacking. Right, so we end up with a 2 6 and a 4 siege guy. So we can go ahead and support, enable support loyalists. And that's it. The English, who have been disloyal since day one, are now loyal. Right, we can start to integrate them in about 10 years' time. We we'll go ahead and start annexing you. I think that is where we'll leave it today. So a stunning success as uh, William normally manages to. Uh, Continue history, I suppose. I don't really do anything out of the norm, but it was a lot harder than otherwise. I think starting as England, that one would have been a piece of cake. So, lads, if you did enjoy this sort of, like, historical season... Okay, Greenland. We know about Greenland. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> nice. Um, if you did enjoy this historical scenario, please do let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I've got a couple of others lined up, for example, uh, doing the whole Charlemagne thing. That could be quite fun. Uh, resurrecting Slavic and sort of, like, de-Christianizing uh, Europe. Uh, full Reconquista. Starting as Asturias, potentially. These are just some of the ones I had off the uh, off the top of my head. Or like going for something a bit more niche, like playing as Roger II in Sicily or some of my favorite kings and just sort of yeah, more historical based stuff, I suppose. Uh, in terms of like more exploring the history than uh, than purely this is game mechanic one, two, three. So let me know what you think of all that in the comments down below. I think I'm going to put it to a vote uh, to the Patreon. So if you are a Patreon, keep an eye out for that. Otherwise, lads, please do make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's it's literally right there.